Hello, welcome to Photo Board YouTube channel. Myself, Shabuli Krishna. Uh, today, we are going to learn about an AI pair program in GitLab. Right? In our uh, channel, we have uh, covered the topic on GitHub Copilot. So, uh, the GitLab Duo is again uh, another kind of AI pair program that help you to assist the developers in writing the code faster. Okay, so that is the purpose of GitLab Duo. Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you like how we can uh, onboard GitHub uh, Duo uh, in a free subscription and what are the difference between uh, GitLab of, of, uh, Pro as well as uh, GitLab Duo, Duo Pro as well as the GitLab uh, Duo Enterprise and what are the uh, features that is missing with the GitLab uh, Duo Pro and how you can utilize the basic features that is uh, available with the free edition, right? So all these things we are going to uh, cover today. So let's start. Okay, so here you can see uh, uh, I have already onboarded GitLab uh, Duo uh, in my uh, account. That's why here at the top you can see a chat window, right? It is uh, mentioning like GitLab Duo chat. So this is uh, something uh, same like uh, our chat GPT. Like uh, if I click on that, here you will get a uh, uh, chat kind of uh, um, interface where you can view the instructions or the prompts based on your prompts gitlab go chat is going to respond to you, right uh, same like how chat gp is going to work right so i'm not uh, going deep dive into that so if you have any queries uh, related to gitlab go uh, GitLab Duo or any gitlab features you just need to give it as a prompt and it will give you the response right so before going there uh, let me show you like how you can do the onboarding so the uh, what you have to do just open up uh, uh, Google, just search with GitLab or Duo. Okay, just open up GitLab or Duo. Okay, at the top you can see GitLab get a free trial or you can click on get started. Okay, so if you scroll down here, you'll be able to see the different editions that are available. So, not a customer yet, or if you are a premium and free customers, you can click here, or ultimate customers can click here, or uh, if you want to buy it out, then you have to uh, contact to purchase. Uh, or this is only for 60 days of trial. Okay, so this free subscription will get only for 60 days. Or if you have a self managed, you can click here and you can get the subscription, right? And uh, after 60 days, you'll have to pay around a dollar ninety per user per month. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the licensing model which I believe other uh, AI pay programmers are also following. <laughs> so how you can get it is like. Uh, as I'm using it, uh, as I'm a free customer, let me click here, start here. Okay, then I need to enter all my details, then click on continue. Then it will enable the uh, GitLab Duo uh, subscription uh, within your account. Okay, so as I have already enabled it, I can see uh, it is showing uh, GitLab Duo chat as well as at the left hand side, you can see ultimate with GitLab Duo enterprise trial uh, and 59 days left, right? Only 59 days are left for the subscription, right? Uh, so I believe you've got an idea like how we can get the subscription. So once the licensing is completed, you will be able to see this chat box at the top, uh, as well as a uh, uh, few other features as well. Okay, so I will show you like how uh, what are the other features that uh, you can use as part of a GitLab Duo. Uh, before to that, uh, let me give you a walkthrough of what are the different features of a GitLab Duo. Right. So it's like the AI powered features across the software development lifecycle. Okay, so these are a few of the basic uh, features of uh, GitLab. The uh, first thing is like for developing uh, features and for securing application, facilitating collaboration for advanced uh, troubleshooting. Okay, so uh, it will help or it will assist developers in the entire development lifecycle. Okay, so that is the importance of uh, GitLab. Uh, so uh, under for developing features, what are the uh, different assistance or features uh, which is provided by GitLab Duo? So first one is the chat. So as I showed you, like GitLab Duo chat is uh, something where you can give the prompt and based on your prompt, uh, GitLab Duo is going to give you the uh, instructions, right? Uh, it includes the resource as well, like uh, uh, it will give you the reference uh, documentation which you can refer for uh, getting more details on any of your queries. Right? And code explanation. For example, you are new to some code and maybe your peer has developed the code. And if you want to understand that, you can use a code explanation feature. 
Next is a course suggestion. Uh, so this one, uh, it would help developers to give you the prompt. Like if you're using the ID while giving, or if you are typing some code itself, uh, GitLab Duo is giving you the suggestions. Okay, it will help the developers to make a better coding as well as a faster coding. Okay. GitLab Duo for CI it is uh, an interesting feature. Like while writing the code in the CLI, it is going to give you the uh, instructions. Okay, so like if you are typing or something, maybe uh, if you are writing a method, it is going to give you the instruction. So it will help developers as well as any DevOps engineer in writing their uh, code snippets. Okay, and next is the test generation. So unit test generation is always a uh, a tedious work for all the developers. So this will help uh, the developers to write the uh, test cases, right? And next is for secure applications. So this is very uh, interesting uh, feature. So this is like a, just consider as part of your pipeline, you're getting some vulnerability signing file. So it will help you to explain like what is the reason for the vulnerability. And uh, next is like a, a vulnerability resolution. So it will come along with your enterprise uh, licensing. So if you click on vulnerability resolution, it will automatically create a merge request containing the changes to mitigate that vulnerability. So this is very interesting feature. And this is for facilitating collaboration. So uh, it will help you to create a new dashboard which can uh, show like what is the utilization of these AI player programmers and how it is developing the, or how it is helping the developers for the development journey, right? And the discussion uh, summary it will give you, like as is with getting everyone up to speed on lengthy conversation, okay? So just consider like uh, you have a start some discussion as part of maybe um, a mind job, okay? So uh, there are some uh, lengthy conversation. If you want to summarize it, you can use the uh, discussion uh, summary. And code review summary as well, like help merge request hand of between order and reviewer and help reviewer efficiently understand the suggestions, okay? So this is a very interesting feature. And merge request test summary as well, like efficiently communicates the impact of your merge request changes. So once you create a merge request, it will give me a very detailed description um, to the reviewer as well as the, to the author, like what are the new changes that you're going to implement and what is the impact of that. Okay, and the issue description generator, uh, generation, it will help to generate uh, new issues and it will uh, ease the uh, uh, developer or the tester, like whoever is going to raise the issue, uh, it will be easy for them to write the description, right? And for advanced uh, troubleshooting. So this is again an uh, interesting uh, feature like uh, uh, for those who are working on CAC department and for the DevOps engineers, like it did help to identify the root cause of the failure of each job. For example, if I have a unit test job and got failed, okay, so there is a troubleshooting um, say uh, button. If I click on that, it will give you the root cause analysis of the failure, okay, why the job got failed, and it will assist you in fixing those issues as well. Okay, so I will uh, show you a few of the features that GitHub uh, Duo is uh, supporting, okay. And let me open up this image as well. So it's very interesting. Like uh, this will show you like uh, in which areas you can use a uh, GitHub uh, to GitLab. Sorry, GitLab to okay. Uh, sorry, like if I'm uh, misspelling uh, GitLab and the GitHub. So this is a GitLab. Okay, GitLab to okay. So one workflow to unite your developer security and operations team powered by AI. Okay, uh, so in which all areas we can use the GitLab to do more. This one is like a summary, then my instance. Then, uh, if you have any issues to be created, it will help to write the issues for you and assign issues. And then, after that, you are going to create a new merge request. It will give you the code, it will help you for writing the code sessions, then suggest your reviewers, merge request is summary, all these details. Then, the code explanation. Okay, so it will help to understand what are the new codes that you have developed and it will help you to explain like uh, what you have written. Okay, then it will automatically help you write the uh, unit test cases for you. Then it will uh, scan the vulnerabilities in the new code. And if there are any new vulnerabilities, it will help you to identify that or it will help you to explain that. Then you can uh, create merge requests to fix it as well. So that is a good testing feature. Then uh, after that, it will help you to give the code review summary once the MR is uh, created. Okay, then the approval process and merge accepted. 
And after that, uh, the normal uh, deployment of the release process, right? So let me go back here. So I already mentioned about the uh, GitLab or to chat and uh, let me go here. And if I opening the ID, this is what I did. I, I just clicked on web ID and I opened the uh, GitLab uh, web ID. Okay, so if you open up the GitLab uh, ID, here also you will get the GitLab or Duo chat. Okay, so if you want to get any real time suggestions uh, for the code that you have written, just copy paste and put it here and ask them to explain it or if you want any session, you can ask it. Okay. Also, it will uh, give you the real time suggestions as well uh, while uh, writing the book. That is again uh, an interesting feature. Also, I will be showing one more thing an interesting feature for any DevOps engineer. So, many of the features are not supporting with the uh, uh, GitLab or uh, Duo Pro. So, that's why I cannot explain more on the merge request and the uh, other the features so whatever is available level of it is i'm going to explain with it okay so for example uh let me open up any pipeline so here you can see this pipeline i skipped 16 hours ago and it got failed so let me open up this and it got failed in the maven build stage okay okay so at the bottom you'll be able to to see a troubleshoot button okay so here the job code failed and it may be difficult for a devops engineer for a developer to understand what is the reason for the failure or he can go through this and he can identify what is the reason but the fix is not available right so what we can do just click troubleshoot okay so it will automatically ask gitlab duo chat for the reason for the failure and it is giving you the suggestion okay why it got failed because i have used it uh, selenium java version as 10.25.0 which is not available in maybe central right that is the reason for the failure and it is giving you the suggestion like instead of 10.25.0 i have to use 4.60.1 okay so this is the code suggestion from uh gitlab to a chat okay, so this is very easy to implement and it will help to resolve more issues okay. i hope you understood like uh, what is the benefit of this and again an uh, interesting feature is like if i go to analysis we can create a, uh, the dashboard which will help uh, the leads or the management to understand what is the utilization of uh, uh, the ai features so if i click on this i'm just going to use dashboard okay just click on ai visualization and visualization here you can give the different uh, features okay so based on this it will create a new dashboard and uh, it will help uh, the team to understand what the utilization and how it is helping the development chain right um so these are a few of the uh details uh, that uh, you can use for uh, use with the gitlab uh, to chat so anyway it is going to help you a lot in uh, saving a lot of time for the development um yeah so that's it for uh, today's uh, video i'll be coming up with more explanation to more features in the uh, coming videos as this is just the introduction video uh that i need just to give you some insights about what is gitlab Duo and how you can control that and what are the basic features of gitlab uh, Duo Pro. okay um so that's it for today and if you like the video please uh, don't forget to comment and don't forget to share with your friends and Please to stay tuned with the channel for getting more videos. Thanks so much for the video. Bye.